start, right? Would, would you, you're not overpowered, but would you ease a little oat haul just to power you up more quickly as, as you bear off the last 15 20 seconds? What I like to do on, the, on my pre-start settings is I like to sail the, let me give you my routine on the starting line. Sail the starting line. Stopwatch is running. How long is the line? From the committee boat to the pin. It's a great piece of information because it tells you how long an approach you have time to do. Okay, so now I know it's a minute and 15 seconds. That's a normal number, by the way. So minute and 15, minute and a half. Okay, then I next move is I'm now at the pin, and I trim up, uh -huh. set the boat look, make the sails look nice, get it in the groove, sail my angle of heel. I make it, you know, okay, pull this, ease that, do, 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 got it. Before I tack or bear away, I write down my heading. Really important. I write down my starboard tack heading with the boat at speed, nobody on my air. I tack. The sail looks the same. Let's just say it does. And I write that number down. So that's my starboard tack heading and my port tack heading. From this, I will know if I've lifted or headed later on the race course. Key information. Then I turn back down. As I turn back down, I now, all the strings that I worked so hard at to get, I back them off. Because when we're in the starting line, two things are happening. One is we're obstructed and there's all kinds of, the air's all chewed up and, and messy, so we need more power. And the other thing is we're gonna start from half speed, quarter speed, and we need to get up to speed. So we back it up, we back everything off to power the boat up to come out of the start. I see a lot of boats come off the start Turn really hard and you go, <laughs> no, in a minute, in two minutes, three minutes. When we come off the start, we have one objective. Anybody care to throw that out at me? Henry, hold your lane. You have one job, hold your lane. It's an assessment period and all you do is hold your lane. You know, in other words, you don't slide into this boat down here. Don't try to pinch this boat up here, that's greedy. It doesn't pay, you're going to get into a tussle with that boat and have all kinds of other hassles. Hold your lane. It's like on the highway. We can do it at 80 miles an hour, but we can't do it at five. What's up with that? Okay, so hold your lane. Don't slide down. Just, just sail your boat, organize it, get settled in. Okay, now I've got my lane under control. I'm sailing fast. All good. Now, what's next thing I'm going to check is, what's my heading? Is it, am I headed? Am I lifted? If I'm lifted, I want to do what? Stay. If I'm headed, I want to tack. So now the discussion on the boat, now we're in the decision making process. And you go, I'd like to tack. My head turns to the right. <laughs> no lanes there. Bummer. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I still want to tack. Damn. No lanes. Suddenly the lanes open up. Boom. So we're going to try to stay in phase, right? Now we're now we have a lane. We're on port tack. We're in phase. So it's it's quite counter to what most of us do. Be calm. You know, have your you want to go this way. You know that it's, this is a good angle, say, but just worry about the lane. Pick them off one at a time. Most of us tend to want to get too much too quickly, and you have to have a little patience. Now a guy like me. You know, the, the be-all and end-all is to go faster than everybody else. I actually don't care whether I win or lose, as long as I can burn a bunch of guys off on the race course. Okay, that may be a little too much in this side of the speed equation, but that's why they put me into the sail trim role. We got other people, we have people for that to do the tactical part. My point is, if you go fast, everything is easy. So worry about your speed a little bit until you have can hold your lane, and then eventually everybody's going to go, oh, well, we got a tag. Think, consider this. If you're fast and you're going out and you hold your lane and you start to climb and, you know, things are good. And then you look over your shoulder and you've done such a nice job, you can tag across. Guess what? The rest of your race is going to be easy. If you can tag across the fleet because your next move is come back on starboard. Oh, how tough was this? Oh, those guys are so tough. Right? So worry about going out on your lane. A little statistic in before the America's Cup went to multi-hulls. In the America's Cup, if you watch the first race of the America's Cup, the first race, in fact, the first beat, in fact, the first cross, 
the first cross or the first race of any America's Cup, in 80% of the cases, was who was going to win the Cup. <coughs> so what that really means is speed and hold your line. That's really, that's really the fundamental lesson in there. Does that help any?